Looks nice. Um, so where, where did you order the SPS from? I got it off a guy off a Reef to Reef. Yeah, that's the one in the front's really nice, the pink one. Dude. Yeah. Whatever happened with that Mohano one? <laughs> I don't know. Look, I got some. Look, I, I have them. I have those and permitted snails somehow got in here. I've been bugging them. He can't, said he can't find it, but yeah. he'll, he'll get it to me when he finds it. Um, I need that. I got, I uh, talked to this guy on Reef to Reef. His yeah. name's Frank. And he sells this Aptasia X type stuff, but it's his version. Is it the Frank's Juice or whatever? No, uh, Frank's Tanks. Oh, really? And, no, that's that, um, that juice is a... Uh, something juice. I forgot what the hell it's called. Joe's juice. Yeah, but look at that. It's a freaking monster Aptasia dude. Should name that dude under that bubble coral. Uh, uh I put this stuff on uh, my my tank and my little lagoon. Yeah. Psh, I think I think it's gonna do good because uh, you just drop it in there or what? No, you put it on like Aptasia X with no flow. Okay, that's the apex stuff that yeah. you're going on. And then he let it sit for 15 minutes. I did it for 20, and it hardens on it. It's like a super glue, but it looks like calc washer, but it's not. And if you have like certain corals, you like um, zoas that you didn't want, yeah, you, it'll kill them. Oh, okay. And that bubblegum did you do? That's pretty nice. Yeah. Came in pretty big. That's a nice rag. Yeah. You got a lot of frags. Yeah, well, that's how you start. <laughs> Can't afford colonies, man. I and mean, it's not fun that way anyway. That purple style is going to grow big. That's yours, man. Yeah, I, I didn't glue that. It, that it Duncan, I just stuck it there. I like it. I like your tank. I have lots of room for... It's going to be a, a mixed reef, but mainly SPS? Pretty much else SPS and, like, Euphilias and Zolas. Quiet. Yeah, I know. It's, sometimes it's freaky quiet. I don't like it that quiet. I do. I like it. Really? <laughs> yeah, because if something happens, you know right away that. Oh. Um, well, I had that marine land, and that thing was that had the, just the regular Durso, uh -huh. and that thing was loud as shit. It was like a <sighs> toilet bowl. That wasn't that bad. I remember. It. Compared to this thing. This is nice. I got a really good deal on it. Does the reef brights actually make it pop? Yeah, watch. I'll show you. I'll turn these off. I just wanted to. It's ridiculous. Let's see. So, is this the. Look at that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's okay. I didn't really think they would. I really didn't think they were popped out good. Yeah, it's really nice. The roof right. There's, it's amazing, actually. Yeah. Cause I, I was going to put one on the back, but I don't think I need it. I would, just cause. It is nice though. So it's good. That's a PC rainbow, really nice. The some of the dudes were telling me that I have PC rainbow. You probably do. And I'm like, I don't know. Well, some in some people's tanks it's more green, and in some people's tanks it's more red. Uh huh. So I don't really know. You got that as a new frag. Yeah, that they came in on Friday. That's cool, man. Okay. I was like, I recognize some of these. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I'm hoping that um, it's called F. Aptasia from... Uh, guy named Frank in Fort Worth yeah and he sent me some of that um, Aptasia his his version and that's gonna help my tank out a lot those are the pallets you got from or whatever those are from Allen those things are sweet you got some of those didn't you uh, yeah but mine look different yours look different than mine yours are looking more orange than that orange green of course that um, with that blue cloth yeah I gotta get rid of that 
Did you you get you get blue clove on yours too? I got a little bit, but I don't know if I still have any. What it died off? I haven't really I haven't really noticed it, cause I didn't I didn't get a big rock like that. Oh really? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna frag it up, or put it on a a disc. Yeah, but they were when I first got them they were greener. Now they're more orange. Yeah. Red. Yeah, this roof part is pretty legit. I know, it's nice. The only reason I got it is because I got a, such a good deal on it. If, if I would have had to pay full retail, I probably would have just got the SB ones, you know what I mean? Yeah. The roof brights are like 200 bucks by the, for one bar, isn't it? Oh, this is like 350 Yeah. For a 48 inch? Just, that's stupid. Yeah, I, I would have got... SB reflights. Uh, you keep, I think you can pretty much get two for the price of one of these. Something like that. Yeah. Reef breeders, they have a long one and you can customize it. Or they have a straight UV. They have like... Yeah. Well, I, I think I might... If I do get one, I'm going to try to get one that's half UV, half blue. Ooh, side view. I like this tank. I was going to... I was asking him for it. Eric? Uh-huh. And then I just did... I was like, nah, I'm just going to do my SCA. It's pretty much the same dimensions as yours, but yours is a lot taller. This is sweet because yeah. I'm I'm not very I'm five seven, so yeah. this is like with mine I have to get a step ladder. I think yours might be wider too. Uh, twenty four. Yeah, I think this is like twenty two. But you can't really tell the difference. Yeah. But yours is like like yours is like this tall. That's where you get all your extra gallons from. Because mm. I think this is only twenty. Yours is thirty inches, right? Tall. 29 or something like that? Mm, I think it's 25. I think it's the same width as it is tall. Oh, so it's like a 120, just a foot longer? I think so. Okay. But I can't wait for my T5. Um, it's going to be sweet. This is an actual uh, gyre? No, that's a J-Bow. <laughs> I cleaned it the other day. and I, I was like, it's pretty quiet. No, it's not on. I cleaned it the other day and I put the, I put the impellers in wrong, uh, and so I turned it on and water kept on. It was coming straight. I turned it off. I see. It's pretty damn quiet. Yeah, it's quiet. It's not that loud anyway. But I'm probably gonna get another one of those waves, man. They're sweet. So where's your apex at? It's a mess. Does this open? Yeah, all this shit opens. I was curious about which skimmer you went. Is this your... Didn't you sell it? Huh? Oh, okay, this is a bu Bubble Megas? Yeah, the curve is elite. Yeah, I don't really like it. Okay, you're all Neptuned up. Not really. Yeah, a little bit. The core pump. Yeah. Oh, I got that pump brand new for 200 bucks, man. I couldn't pass it up. Online or yeah, from eBay. somebody? <laughs> I just offered some lady on, like, some lady at bottom and I offered her $200 for it. She had it for 270 and I, she thought she accepted it for shipping. Yeah? Yeah. I wonder if it was hers or if she got mad at her husband. This light was already on there? No, I just bought that off Sam's Club. It's like 10 bucks. Your, your tank is not a, <coughs> a mess at all. I had bought the filter cups, uh -huh. but I hate them. Really? I hate them. Why? I like filter socks better. Because the filter floss, um, it, the, it's, the strings get everywhere, man. I don't like it. And then every time you put the filter floss in, the skimmer goes crazy. Huh. That looks pretty good. Are you doing the matrix again? Matrix yeah, I got a matrix in here. here. And then I see your bag. And then I got a bag there, yeah. Because I don't have that much rock. I didn't want to overload the tank with rock. If I want more rock, I'll just put more rock in. You know what I mean? As I need it. Oh, sweet. I like that stand that you made for your skimmer. Oh, yeah. It's, it's clean. That's pretty cool. Did you get some PVC cutters, or you just, or what'd you use? I uh, I had some uh, the plier things that cut it. Huh? The uh, ratcheting. Yeah. I finally bought some of those, and so like a, I'm so mad that I didn't buy it sooner. 
Yeah, I'm such a cheap ass because <laughs> they're like ten dollars, man. Yeah. That's sweet, man. The skimmer's doing pretty oh, good. Oh yeah, it's really good. Basically, I bought the cheapest skimmer I could that ran that CJ pump. I uh, was thinking about Pedro's, but it's too small. Yeah, it's for 120. But it's not for one. It's for a heavy bottle load. It's only rated to like a 60, 60 gallon. Calcoster. Of course, I always run Calcoster. How many gallons is this? A five gallon? Five and a half for Petco. That's sweet, dude. Yeah. Um, yeah, I put a little lid on it. And that's just a spray bottle of water or what? It's uh, distilled water and vinegar, what I use to clean the glass. Dude, your tank is fucking nice. You're talking <laughs> it's all dirty? I mean, it's not dirty, it's just uh, the wires. Dude. I, I was gonna, so I mocked it up, right, and I was gonna paint that black, uh -huh. but I got fucking lazy. <laughs> oh, that's bad. It's nice, though. That's just the Apex EL, man. I, I think that's all you need, to, to be honest with you. And you made that board, right? Yeah. Dude, this is sweet. You should do a thread. You never, I, you don't never do a thread though. This is, this is thread. Hey, do, do you remember commenting on the YouTube and Fritz Salt thing? Yeah. That was my thread. Yeah, I know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Cause that's bullshit, man. Yeah, everybody gets hooked up, but. Huh? I am still using the Reef Crystals. Uh, I use regular Instant Ocean. That's all I've ever used. I've thought about it. Regular Instant Ocean or Fritz? Yeah, regular Instant Ocean so you could uh, dose and all that. Well, the, I like the reef crystals, but sometimes the out gets too high. This is all I'm doing, too, in my tank. Calcwasser. Yeah. I'm doing that Calc Plus 2 from... Um, right walls? Mm -hmm. Well, this is... I have that set up over here. I got to set this stuff up over here. Yeah, nice. All this shit just came in. Oh, you got EV, EVC? EV it? All the yeah. ATI essentials? Yeah. It only It's only two parts, man. And it, it's everything. And it's super concentrated. So I did my research and, and so I'm gonna use that. From now on and see how you like it? Yeah. And then I bought this. So there's a guy on eBay that does 3D printed stuff. Oh shit. So this was like 10 bucks and the coolest thing is this thing. The uh, doser rubbish? <laughs> he just he 3D printed this so you can put the doser uh -huh. like that. This was like $12. That was nice. I know. Cause when I think about 3D stuff, I'm like, ah, it's cheap. Well, yeah, it looks nice though. No, it's pretty, pretty solid. Cause like, um, those 3D return, uh, random flow generator the things. The VCA things. Yeah, I was like, those are cheap looking things. Well, do you have them? Uh, I have one, but it, um, it broke. Uh, Tim gave it to me, and it broke right there where it connects to the lock line. So I was like, ah, it's cheap. This is nice. But I thought this was cool, man, because, like, you get the shelves that hold the doser, they're like $30. This is nice. Yeah, I don't know, this was $10. Wow. Oh, shit. Nice. Yeah, I'm going to set this up today. What are you going to dose? Just that? And well, I got this, so I'm going to dose these two parts, and then Acro Power, and then I might drip in Calcwasser at night on the, the fourth head. Mm, I think the calcwasser is gonna get yeah that's it's clogged it's gonna up. clog up that's why I got an extra hit I, I don't know yeah or I might just keep the calcwasser on the ATO the ATO and then just lower the dosage because I know this is super concentrated the ATI website said you can mix this to like five to one so it's a two liter bottle so it's like essentially ten liters per pretty dope. Check out your tank. Ah, oh, that's cool though. And then the, have you ever used Mastic? Uh, I've seen Dude, people... it's super good, man. Where did you buy that? Online? Oh, uh, it was on... I don't know, I just saw it on saltwateraquarium.com. Uh -huh. And I just don't... I just happened to be on there and I saw it and I just ordered some. That's for your, uh, algae grazers? Or? That's for everybody. So how long has your tank been up now? Uh, four months, I think. Looks good. I like it. I know I was giving you a hard time about your rock, but it looks pretty cool. 
It does. It looks horrible on pictures because you can't see the depth really. Mm-hmm. But I don't know. You know how like sometimes when people put tanks on, man, they just put a shitload of rock in there. I Deep. think it's. I feel like it's easier to add rock than it is to take away. Yeah. So if I run out of room, I still have plenty of space to add rock. I could put an arch or you know, whatever. I want to try to use that Niles um, cement you gave me. Yeah. Um, Cause I want to, I want to change it up a little bit for my. Oh, on your one fifty or mm-hmm. on your. Yeah, my one fifty, my the twenty four gallon. I was thinking about um, taking out that rock, but or taking out because I have some branches like that. Yeah. Because uh, I threw all my zoas in there now. And you, you got all your zoas out of your field in the one fifty. Yeah, and I put them in the twenty four. Oh shit. Yeah, it's pretty pretty jump high. I need to start cutting them up and start selling some. Yeah. I could never keep that style in my old tank because the peppermint shrimp would eat the polyps out of it. Really? Yeah. Guys, I got like three pieces from you in every like so I yeah. put it in the tank and the day the next day it'd be dead. So I remember one time I, I came in here and the, the freaking peppermint shrimp was like ripping the polyps out. Mm. You, you should. Know?